Greetings and salutations everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host Fabulous and today we are continuing our Pokemon Shield Armor Lock. Now as you can see if you look at the little circle with my face in it, we are technical difficulty gang today. My webcam has decided it is no longer going to survive, it has game ended itself and that's all I can say about that. But for today we're going to continue our adventure, hopefully get to the wild area so we can head to the Isle of Armor and put the armor on this armor lock because... You know, I ain't trying to use these same old ass Galar Pokemon. I'm trying to get some new boys in here. Is it going to teach me how to have a Pokemon battle? No, it merely suggests the idea that I may have to. Alright, no, 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 no. What was the button to move these? Hold on now. Oh, Lord. Who's out front? That's all I need to know. Nick it. Yeah, we'll be alright. Let's see what you got, boy. And I love that they made it cinematic for each and every battle. The battle back, you can you see the town behind me, you can see the lab in front of me. Oh my god, this game was great. Uh, I haven't like walked through these areas and battled in them in so long. Oh my god. So six? Alright, um, we're gonna have to put in some pro strats here. We're gonna have to hit him with the tail whip, over the defense, and then we'll beat him up. Get that stabbed three times. Devastating tackle. Truly devastating tackle. Alright, um, well this is a Nuzlocke so I can't just risk the biscuit. Son of a birch. Alright, heal up. Come on now, rescue. You ain't no bitch. Don't be taking them like that no more. Come on now. Oof. That's still- oh, it's stab tackle, that's fine. Duh. Alright, hit him with that stab beat up go. That's one- oh my god. Are you joking? Oh, why did that one do so little? Is it based off everyone's attack stat? Oh no. Tail Whip, you gonna kill us with one more tackle. Swap, just swap. Just do the thing when you swap. Jesus Christ. That was gonna go so badly. Maybe that's why I never used Nicket. Jesus. Just give him bite. Just give him bite. Why didn't it start with Thief? Hold on, its name is Nicket. Why didn't the damn thing start with bite? Once you tell it, finish it with taunt it. Nope, we're good. I did not know the group starts with taunt. I totally, totally picked Sal the first time. Eh, whatever. That's right, boy. Get your squab out of my way. Alright, give it a bite. Nobody learned a damn thing. That's alright. Three level ups, though. I'll take it. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at him. Well, all you got is a squibbit, so you probably shouldn't do that, mate. Alright. Just drop some potions on the gang here. Actually, you know what I want to check right quick? Do we have a mystery gift? Hell yeah. Yeah, save the game. Oh, I can't. This is my alt, and then because I'm a cheap bastard, I only have online for my main account. Rip. Alright. I'm trying to do this. Ooh, what else is in this grass? <gasps> no, I could have had a low tad! I knew I should have waited until I got past that trainer. Oh no. I've made a crucial error. Oh well, these things happen. Alright, what we got here? What we got here? Two potions, look at that. Replenished our stocks. Come on, I smell free shit. There it is. Three Pokeballs, you know I'll take that. We could add a Galarian Zigzagoon! Oh, I love Obstagoon. Tell you what, I love Obstagoon. Alright, uh, she's a lass, so the my only worry is that she'll have a fairy type, but I don't know what fairy she could possibly have. Oh, yeah, I guess she could have a Clefairy, but I doubt it. Alright, Lauren, I like your outfit. That is a little whack there. Oh my god, is it Chirudo? I love Chirudo in the anime. It's adorable. And I just want to have one in my house forever. Alright, oof, that thing's got defense and we do not. I just hit it with a quick attack. What, what kind of damage can you actually do? Absolutely nothing. Okay. That was about the same as using Beetle. Okay, she does out. Do you have damage level 6 Chirudo? 
Beat up. That's that. Come on. Put your back into it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm better off quick attacking. That's... Well, that's okay. Come on. Come on. I was really feeling a naked playthrough. And you're just gonna go ahead and do me like this? I love the fact that she cleans her feet with her tail after she does that. Yeah. You know, they did suck in some animations, but in some of them they really went hard. Especially the original ones for Gen 8. They really tried their best. God, you're losing to a level 6 Choodle. It's partially my fault for hitting beat up, but it's partially your fault for being shit at your own type. And it's entirely Game Freak's fault for not giving you bite. Just quick attack it to death. Just come on, Rasta. I'm gonna keep using Rastica in the hope that she gets a decent dark type mode. Because I really like her design. And I really like uh Thievel the Evolution. But this is just wow. We could just switch and Grookey and one shot this demon right here and right now. I mean I guess the XP is shared, but they get more for doing it themselves. But don't worry, she's disappointed us for the last time. Grookey's back at it again. Thank you, good annoying. I like the disappointed animation though. Pokemon! Grookey back out front. Just take care of this. Unless we have to fight Hop again, in which case we should prob. We don't have anything for a fire type anyway. Man, no, I really wish we caught that low tide. Alright, one more battle. We'll at least get a level on everybody. Oh, there's definitely a rival battle. There's a stadium right there. Alright, boys. Well, the Nuzlocke is on. Y'all ready to lose? Blip bug. We could have used a blip bug. But then again, it probably would have died in this upcoming battle. Now, is this branch boat? Oh, wait. You know what it don't resist? A powerful, powerful Aegis pack. Struggle bug to start? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Because that's a special move, I believe. And it turns into a very powerful special attack. And it's not bad at all. Aegis also has a better dark type move than Beetle. Aegis is the better dark type. And it's not even dark type. I love the camera angles low to the ground. Because it knows we're using tiny, wimpy-ass Pokemon. I wonder if I had a randomized version. Unfortunately, my Switch is not hacked. I checked. It's very old, but it's not hackable, unfortunately. I mean, Nintendo, I would never hack my Switch. That's, that's terrible, and I hate people to do that, of course. Obviously. Watch, you're gonna send out a naked who's gonna bite the hell out of me, and I'm gonna be real fucking mad right quick. Come on, boy, let's see it. Come on now. There, level 7. He's got it, doesn't he? He's got the bite. Nope, good that. Alright, so he knows Nick it's not great too, that's why I sent it out last. It was just in the back just in case Blip Bug couldn't handle it. You know what? I would use a Blip Bug before I used to make it. But look at that design, it's so good. I really like the designs of the Gen 8 Pokemon. The starters, uh, the first evolutions, I like all of them except for Score Bunny's weird legs. Nope, didn't get anything at level 7. But all their metal evolutions are extremely awkward, except for Raboot. Raboot is definitely the best metal evolution, hands down. Is this a different area? Hold on, hold on. We gotta check them out, because I see a Chewler right there, and we can use a water type right now. Route to Professor's House. No, I don't think Professor's House is its own thing, unfortunately. Alright, let's push down before Hop kills our Pokemon. Um, well, I don't think we need that. What we should do is actually pop an orange berry. And then, oop. Hell yeah. That's right, boys. We're putting on pro strats. We're getting ready. Uh, we should, well, I don't know why I wouldn't put that on our worst Pokemon. There we go. We're ready. Look, there's the professor. So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... 
Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice we had guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. She's Scottish, by the way, in case you're wondering about the accent. She moved here to study glaring Pokemon. She's from the, uh, uh, Tox region. There we go. And you must be fabulous. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have to complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Fabulous? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Let me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you, dear? Up and Fabulous only just... Oh. Up and Fabulous only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Look at him, he's charging up, bro. He's got Saiyan hair. Oh my god, so does Leo. <gasps> They're Saiyans! Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shit. Fuck me. Alright. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. Oh my god, he's sponsored by Game Freak. I don't know how I never noticed that. Look at the bottom right of his cape. Sponsored by Game Freak. First one, we'll steal him. No, it's shit. Books. No, I'm not here for... Is this Sonya's room? Oh my god, it's Yamper's bone. Look at this. This is attention to detail. See your makeup? Makeup kit. Vanity mirror. Yamper stickers. Look at this. Attention to detail. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Fuck yeah. Love it. Onward. Look at the detail here. This is beautiful. And there's free shit back there. I knew it. I knew I smelled her shit somewhere. Alright, that came out really wrong. I smelled... You know what I meant. Alright, you know what I mean. Get me... Oh my... Oh wait, that was free shit. Hey! Oh, that's right, they nerfed fresh water from 50 to 30. About to say free super pressure. Wait. Is there free shit back here? I never went back here, even in my original playthrough. Oh my god, there's a TM back here. Oh my god, it's a dark type move. 300, no, 400 hours. In Pokemon Shield, and I never found that TM. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Decent dark type move, and Ressa can't, can't learn it. But wait! Aegis can! Despicable. Despicable. Alright. Come on out of there. Whack. Hurry up, Fabulous! You've got battle me so I can get myself that endorsement! Alright, let me hear that hype battle bomb. I'd have to talk to you. You want to become the greatest trainer there is, and to do that, I need the endorsement. Come at me with everything you have to prove to Lee we've got what it takes. And we actually line up on opposite sides of the Pokeball. They come out to watch. She has a Corviknight cane. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see it take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Oof. I do like his theme. And it fits his personality. I also love the character arc he goes through. The only thing I wish we still had that they took out from Gen 7. Uh, I'm not reading that. Anyway, is that you could change the way you threw the ball, which I really thought that was awesome customization. And of course, you know, I always pick the Nanu version where you just kind of drop it on the ground. Um, I don't think it's going to do anything to tackle if the cotton down or something. Well, that's on him. Actually, if the cotton down, I'd probably be in hell of trouble. Get your branch poke. Oh, well now we gotta swap. Wait, do I have this set to switch? Or set? Because I know from my original playthrough, I played this in set. Just to make it a little more challenging. No, this is a new user, so it should be focused here. 
Hey. Oh my god, Aegis is even getting a buffing move. Look, another better dark type move than our dark type. Incredible. Aegis is fucking out here. All right. He wants to be on the team to the very end. He's about to send out Rook, is he? Alright, Aegis. Show us why you're the best Pokemon on the team. Oof, because he has no levels. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, Peck is effective in stab, but it's like 35, isn't it? Yeah, 35. Alright, power trip is 20. Oof. Oh, the more the user stats are raised. Actually, we can't really touch score bunny, so we're gonna hunt those. Gurky can't touch score bunny, and Resica can't touch anything. So. Alright, we're gonna buff up, because if he gets us into yellow, we're just gonna get the armberry top anyway. But actually, I think we want to save that in case the score bunny's like level 10 or something way. Uh, we doubled our attack, so I guess it's question time. Now, the strategy does in fact bank on us one shot in this record. But it's level 5, so double attack, I think we'll manage. Oops, wrong button. Alright, now let's see what the payback looks to. And it's only base 50? This is stab, so let's see if we take like plus 50%. It would still do more. Alright, we'll pack it. Oof, he survived. That's not great. Alright, well, I could have saved the potion. No, it would still be one lower. One pex worth lower. Oh, I love that cry. It reminds me of a. Uh, I forget what the bird was called in Pokemon Uranium, but you know, the basic bird. No, we're keeping killing Pokemon. It'll be a close one. That's exactly my sort of match. Level 8. Okay, you know what? That's. Hey. Oh, that's right. He gets Sobble, not Score Bunny. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Aegis is out here. Let's see how much Power Trip does. Because I don't know exactly what it adds per um, buff. Oh my god, a lot. Answer a lot. I am surprised that Sobble outspeeds, but it is the fast button. And no, Cinderace is very fast, but Inteleon is even faster, I believe. But has literally no bullet. Sobble's so cute. I love Sobble so much. That's why I picked it anyway, even though its final evolution was kind of whack. Resica learned Hone Claws! Okay. Now why the fuck am I talking to him? be going somewhere. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going to both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? I like that there's now marks and stuff on the battlefield. That was pretty cool. Attention. To detail. Fabulous hot. We'll have to see in a match like that one. I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained a lot you obtained a lot of endorsements. <laughs> okay. Yes, thanks Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but that was a proper battle. Charles and I were both feeling the excitement in every last time our bodies. Oh, you've always tended to get caught up with things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing with that sort of nonsense, but it seems you have really grown a little bit, little brother. Sorry, they, they stutter because they're British, not because of me, obviously. And I'd like to see some more thrilling out of my eye. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Absolutely. Oh, what's that? Lasers. That was a very cute impact sound. Fabulous, would you look at this? The wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. I obtained a wishing star. That's a very convenient wishing star. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes. 
trust you to put something like this. It's a wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I'm not saying it louder. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, oh, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Fabulous and me the power to Dynamax a Pokemon. First we got a battle against that mad Pokemon, the Slumbering World. Now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. Don't get carried away, it's my journey, yeah! For the first time I'm realizing that Hop's shoes and pants match his hair. I didn't even notice she was there for a minute, I was still busy looking at the shoes. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. What? I never noticed she said that the first time. Who? What? Trendy curries? What? Is that a thing? British people tell me, is that a thing? That can't be a thing. Are curries trendy? Is there trendy curry? I somehow, somehow really doubt it. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you could tell me about it? I realized there was something up right there. Uh, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Fabulous tried to fight you off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fountain of information you are. Fabulous, Hop, these are for you. Hell yeah. Now we're styling. I got a Dynamax band slipped on my wrist. It lets me Dynamax at a power spot. Thank you. Yep. Long story short, we're going to the wild area, boys. We already know there's nothing else here, so let's get on out. One last thing before we race. Are you going to try to teach me something about Pokemon? Alright. Listen. Listen. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I guess that's an appropriate time to teach you that. Because it wasn't in the earlier games. And, you know, we're going to the wild area. Yeah, okay. Onward. Let's go to the wild area. Actually, once we go to the wild area, you know where we can go? The Isle of Fucking Armor. No. What? Uh, I cut out, I cut out a Yamper! Oh my god. I wish I'd remembered that that spawns there after that. Oh my god. Now there's a Chudo before that guy. This is so sad. I could have had so many things that weren't Nicket. Then again, I chose the Nicket. I could have. But we got it, we're sticking with it. Question, did they heal our team? Yep. Alright, we're good to go. Ooh. Oh, revive. That's money. I'll take it. Hi. She's just gonna keep waving at nothing. Poor lady's batshit. I like their weird Pokemon language. I like the way that sign is written. No idea what that could possibly, you know, how that could possibly translate, but hey, it does. So with the fabulous, how many did you catch? I got a really special one, you got not one. What were you doing this whole time? You got a team if you're a trainer. Oh, okay, cool. This never misses. With a team like that, you can teach a Pokemon to move in a flash. And you can use them again and again. That one teaches sweet. You gave it to me ages ago, now it's yours. Jim Chan will begin and motor stop. My train is waiting. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's open left so much that I free shit at the train station. I tried. No, don't talk to me again. Don't talk to me anymore. Oh, it's Hop's mom. And my mom. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sabla as a partner. Professor Magnoli was kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. 
So here, last gift to see you all set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Yeah, sorry, our moms are actually American. We're immigrants. You put the set of camping gear in your drag seat. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter what happens out there. Shit, I just said they're immigrants. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will, darling. Anyway, have fun and take care of yourselves. You're welcome back home anytime. We'll be fine. I need to break to you, huh? But my mom's suddenly cooler. There are loads of brilliant trainers. And yeah, and excitement and trains. Let's get on one and go to the fucking boiler. I'm tired of being here. We're going off an adventure. In the background, my dog's losing his mind saying, Get us to. Oh, this is actually really cool. This is so dope. Motorstock surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. This was awesome. Hey, Mr. Station Master, is this the wild area? Yeah, this is the station. Sorry to tell the train's halt to do with like a little on the tracks. What's that to be sorry about? This is brilliant! The wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Fabulous? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! Alright, now. However, I do believe. What? Oh, because I didn't play it on this account, I don't get the Pikachu and Eevee. Okay, fair enough. Ah, thanks for telling me about them. You can get back to Wedgehurst if you like. Know. More stock is off the menu. Oh, well, I can't actually go back to one of Wait, maybe if I go in there, it will. Because now we're going to get our very first wild area encounter, but I would much rather... Oh, man. Still blows me away, even though I've spent hundreds of hours out here. Yeah, I know people are like, oh, look at the trees. Yeah, fucking look at the trees. Look at this place. Come on, that's dope. Shut up. Anyway, take me back. Let's get this ILR armor train going. Okay, it does. Let me go back to Wedgehurst. So let's see if maybe I can actually slide on over the Isle of Armor. Although they do scale in level, so I hope... Yes! Yes! Okay, so apparently this is a dude, by the way, with the glowy Pokeballs in the hat. Do you have an armor pass? Naturally. I've made all the proper preparation that you can observe with unclouded eyes. Please allow me to check your pass. That right there? That's an account. Not only is it an account, that's a token. Hmm, to meet. Ooh, to meet a slowpoke, such a thing is simply elegant. Uh oh, looks like another one's got an armor train ridden over from the aisle. Slow. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? If slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble. They're actually pretty heavy. You think you could catch it from. Slow. Yes. Slow. Alright, what level is it? I want to kill it with one. Oof. I'm not going to kill it with a branch point. God, I can barely touch it with a branch Um? Am I about to get team wiped by a fucking wild slowpoke? Good lord. Wait, that's not even super effective. It's pure psychic right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not water type. It doesn't get the water type for the shoulder bite, too. That makes sense. Alright. Well, Resica's dog shit. Can't kill it. Although I really do wish I could see the inside of the train station while we battle, but to be fair, they put this in like a two second quick patch update. Um. Resica, if you kill the slowpoke, I'm gonna be livid, because this is Nile token. Okay, wow, I don't know why I even bother saying that. Mm. Couldn't possibly. Ooh, you got a crit! 
Alright, she's listening to me talking to me, it's inspiring her. I'm like a director screaming at my actors to do better because I know they're capable of it. And that's exactly what's happening here. Rustica's doing better because I'm being so hard on her. Eh, give her one more and we'll throw the ball. And the Slowpoke's gonna be her strongest Pokemon, too. Doesn't affect Rustica. There you go. And off we go. I really don't want to have to use my Great Ball on this because we are going to the island in case we get something really good. I'd like to have it. Come on. There it is. Alright. Slowpoke was caught. I do like that the Isle of Armor Pass and the game itself lets me use it on whatever account I want. And that gave us some decent levels, so I might actually be able to catch something over there. Hell yeah, we'll give it a nickname. We're gonna name it Token. Now, of course, I could keep and use it, but unfortunately, because we're not gonna be going through the entire of Isle of Armor right now, we can't actually evolve it in any way, shape, or form without a Galerica Cuff. And we can't get a Galerica Cuff without Surf. Well, not Surf, but the bike that goes in the one. Hmm, how interesting. I must say your catching style was quite simply elegant. We apologize for the wait. We've checked your armor pass. All aboard the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step while boarding. Please beware, there will be a connection along the way. Understood. I'm headed to an island called the Isle of Armor. Hold on one second here. I'm headed to an island called the Isle of Armor. I've heard it's a place where one can catch rare Pokemon and do lots of training. Perhaps we shall meet again sometime. Well then, please excuse me. I really did like the Isle of Armor. I thought the DLC really helped it in a lot of places that, you know, the base game lacked. Hold on, my, my wash has rung. With the YouTube style vibrate. Let's see, someone has commented. Let's respond to it live. Where's it at? Not sure how I feel about Sword and Shield, although I haven't finished playing the game yet. So, uh, well, I'm gonna let me read the whole thing. Oh well, well, we'll get to it later. But anyway, no worries. A lot of people feel that way. Um, I understand people who dislike a lot about it. Wait, it won't let me go to the wild area? Oh, once I have access to it. So I have to literally walk into the wild area. Okay. But um, I understand a lot of people who didn't like it. You know, they were expecting a lot more. I know I was as well. Um, as far as like the wild area goes, I thought it would be a lot bigger and I didn't realize they were planning to expand it with the DLC. Um, the animations in a lot of areas could have been worked on, like when you compare it to Coliseum or even Stadium way back on N64, the effort there is lacking. I think they put a lot more effort into making it appear impressive to outsiders and new players coming in to, you know, get more of a new audience than they did on making it a uh, a thorough upgrade for old players but don't get me wrong it, it is definitely a thorough upgrade and as far as pvp goes for players like that it's, it's excellent the uh after game though is uh a bit lacking if you're not into pvp yeah you can do raids over and over and over again until your brain melts but that's really about it i mean the story is nice but it's very rushed you know there really isn't any until the end like, there's a story, but there's not the whole evil team, all that, until the end. It's really just your journey of the gym challenge. Anyway. Oh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grandma will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult is a girl. What? I switched their voice up. I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and such. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill another tale of my legend. And I'm going to skip dialogue. Yep, yeah. mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, I actually didn't realize we didn't start with that. Okay. So, if you're new to Pokemon Sword and Shield, that basically just means you can access the PC from anywhere, anytime. This is the start of my real adventure. Walking from here to there. Now, I'm not shaking a berry tree because it, God knows I don't want to squab it. Because we are now in the wild. Oh, I guess these are tokens. 
Hmm. Well, time for our first encounter. First, let's see what kind of free shit we get. Hey. And I'm not trying to tussle with that Onyx because he'll under our lock right quick. Actually, let's put out Gurky just to make sure in case we run into something OP. Oof. Gurky's out, but he's rather low. So let's... Oh, that's not that. That's that. Bury him up. Unfortunately, Slowpoke is so thick it's going to need a full potion. And then some. Alright, Token. Alright, we can go on the right. Uh, yeah, I suppose we'll do that. I really don't want to end up with a pit up either. Then again, these are tokens. It does not matter. Oh, but we can see a vanilla. That'll kill us in an instant. Um, what was that sound? Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Oh, don't. How dare you. How would I have gotten to that without rotating the camera? Of course, now that it says that, I rotate the camera just to prove I can do it. You can tell. Don't mind. Proud of myself. It's cool. What is this? Oh, it's a tie rogue. Unfortunately, I don't think I can handle the Butterfree, can I? Just in case, we're going to put out Aegis. See if we can catch it. Nope, it's gone. Alright, let's catch our token and get to the aisle. Whoa, 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 boy, who do you think you are? Alright, well, somebody can catch me, that's for sure. Damn. It's hailing. Get pecked, boy. Helping hand, what? Did that do one damage? Nice. Haha, uh -huh, you took two. Get him in the ball. Okay, now that we have access to the wild area officially, I think we just need to do the tutorial. We're gonna head to the- Oh! Boy, who do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you be is? Alright, one more. Alright, you can't see because I'm having technical difficulties, but I totally whipped the Joy-Con like it was Let's Go. And he broke out, that's why. Bad game. Okay, actually I enjoyed Let's Go. But, I like Pokemon, so, you know, whatever. I was just like, really, another, another Gen 1 remake? But I think it was the best way for them to test the Switch capabilities and what they could do with it. And I think they learned a lot of valuable information, judging from what they put in Sword and Shield. But, again, could have been more. Boy? I'm not trying to play with you on the subject of getting in this ball. Because in my luck, he's going to have takedown or something, and he's going to recoil himself to death. And regardless of whether or not he's a token, if we don't catch it, we don't get the wild area in hell. Thank you. There we go. Token was added to the Pokedex. Would you like to give Token a nickname? Absolutely. His name is Token. We're just going to name him Token, I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. Now let's see if we can get to the Isle of Armor. Oh man. I really miss just hitting plus, hopping on my bike, and sailing through here in Mach 17. But I suppose it's nice to take it slow and enjoy the place once in a while. It really is beautiful, and I do appreciate the weather system. Uh, not that I know exactly what day it is on my Switch, because, you know... Exploits! But, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure it would have to be like the 1st of December, and I don't think I was in 2022 yet. I know I was somewhere in 2021, but I don't think I was at the end of it. Alright, now we have our armor pass, and we're going to see if we can't get there. Do I have to talk to you? Wedgehurst? Yes, to the Isle of Armor. Alright, boys, new content. Finally, we're on our way. I know we're at the 40 minute time limit, but I'm not going to betray you again. I'm not going to stop just as we get to the island and be like, next episode. Although, with my history, you're probably expecting me to load into the screen and then do that anyway. But I'm not going to. I'm going to win your trust back. Watch. We're going to have content. We're going to get a Pokemon. I love seeing this also. 
the fucking way the Corviknight taxi works. That's awesome. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on the island. You want to register the Monty Catch to the island on your Pokedex, right? I'll update your decks. The Isle of Armor decks has been added. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your decks. I don't know why I sat down. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside and I'm a bit scared to head out. You're the traveler I'm supposed to guide, am I right? Exactly when we agreed to meet you. Quite the commendable punctuality. Hmm, I've got the strangest feeling we've met before. But I can't recall. And here I thought Amnesia was Slowpoke's move. My name is Avery. I'm a senior member of the dojo you are to join. You're here to join the Master Dojo, are you not? I also train there. My goodness, this is a thick one. Like a poor lost Wulu. It's up to me as an elegant adult to make sure they get the message. I'm pretty sure it's illegal for you to call me thick right now. Perhaps a show of strength is the best way to get to know each other outside. Once you're ready, come out to face me. I'm sure her who the better trainer is. Alright, so. I totally don't know that she's about to hit me with a bunch of psychic types. So I'm going to use my uh, fake dark type, <laughs> Aegis. And, you know, put the work to it. Him. Whatever. Alright. Uh, the other two are tokens. Can't use them. Alright, we're ready. I hope. The Isle of Armor, again, was actually pretty beautiful. I just really, really like this place. Hmm, is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? You'd no doubt like to run around and explore freely, but first, let's make sure you can handle yourself. Naturally, as a member of the Master Dojo, I'll be using my psychic powers to test your strength. Come now, don't overexert yourself. Oh, there's twisted spoons on his hat. I never noticed that. Ooh. And his theme is a bop. I love the way he sends the ball out. I forgot about that. That's tight. Hey, okay, I'll show you what true power looks like. Alright, um, we're gonna home claws? Because I don't. Oh, it does have confusion. Okay, they changed that Gen 8. I thought it would only get. <sighs> Teleport. Jesus. Alright, that did 19. Please put me over. That puts me at 20. Alright, if that was a, a, a high roll, we'll be okay. Jesus Christ. Please don't kill this thing. I really, really need it. Um, these are moves after the target. The tax, tax power is doubled. If we live this, we win. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Dead. Alright, boys. We're in trouble now. Resica? I need you to do your thing. You're now my only Pokemon that isn't my starter. Alright, first death of the show! Episode 2! You love to see it. As soon as we come to the aisle, we get slapped. Alright, you better not have a fairy move at level 10. I'm gonna be really sad. Alright, we're good. We're Gucci. No problems at all. And I'm gonna do this twice, just in case she comes out with something that isn't... That doesn't have just psychic moves, so I can just quick attack it and hopefully one-shot it. Oh, Confusion seems to be its only move. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna do one more. Why not? Can't touch me. I should have led with this. Ah, oh, I can't believe I risked the biscuit like that with Aegis and lost it. Oh, man. We got two tokens in the back, so we'll at least have some semblance of a team. But, oh, man. Alright, beat him up. You still only do that much per hit? Super effectively? That was a crit. Okay, cool. The second one was a crit last time, too. I wonder if that's uh, because it's creepy. Alright, 
Reska got up to level 10 and he's learning Bite. Nope. Slow poke. Oh my god. Keep current Pokemon. It should only have confusion, but it may have water gun. Oh, when did I get beat down to my last Pokemon? Did you use hypnosis on me? Damn it. I can't believe I lost the Pokemon episode 2. Alright, beat up. Jesus. This slowpoke is entirely indifferent, and it's gonna yawn me too, isn't it? You know what, Rustica? You did half. You did half to a slowpoke two levels above you. It has acid. That didn't do much. Uh, it can drop our special defense, which is the only thing I'm worried about. But, um, another beat it might kill. If it doesn't, I'll just quick attack. Oof. It's got to be based on their stats, which the second one always does so much more, and that's got to be Grookey. Alright. Ooh, does a quick attack kill, though? That's a beefy Pokemon that lowers on special defense. Yep, there it is. Alright, we're just going to beat up. We're not taking any more risks. We've done that enough. Alright, but that should be some thick XP, too. Alright. Razor Leaf, awesome, yes, a better move. Slightly. Um, we don't get any double battles, but it can miss, and if we don't want to take that chance, we're going to get rid of a Growl. Keep Scratch because it's early game, we need to be able to deal with, you know, other grass types, bugs, flying types, so we need something neutral at least. Such strength, I'm in size shock. <laughs> I can't believe I just laughed at that. Oh my god, I can't believe I just laughed at that pun. Uh, um, could you, could you give me a moment? Improbable, no, impossible. What kind of trick did this kid use? If a train of this time to the dojo, then people there may very well suffer amnesia about my very existence. If only I could get rid of her. But I've been tasked with escorting her to the dojo. Ahem, you have potential. Why, you made me use a whole 3% of my strength. Still, how shall I put this? Our dojo is a respected place where even the famous champion Leon trained. What I'm trying to say is I don't think you're quite up to snuff. Therefore, I suggest you ignore the master dojo standing over there and head home as soon as you're done seeing the sights. I suppose you could have this too as a parting gift. Oh yeah, baby. Increased selection in boutiques and hair salons. Show it when you next visit a boutique or hair salon. I'm sure you'll be able to find some more elegant garb like mine. So long, ta-ta. Farewell. I doubt I'll see you again. Over it. Teleport. Now I know there's some free stuff here. Because the Isle of Armor is just covered in free shit. Alright, so we're not taking Slowpoke as our first encounter. Look at Waylord out there being Waylord. Oh, okay. Now... We're going to save, because I don't know what level of things around here are. And then before we go getting any encounters whatsoever, we have a funeral to hold. I know how the box works. Alright, we need to change the wallpaper. What's the darkest one? You know what, this looks pretty ghostly. That'll do it. Change its name. All caps. Oop. Dead end. Perfect. Okay. Aegis, you served so well. I'm sorry. Alright, we're going to deposit our two tokens because we have them and it's time to turn them in for Isle of Armor Pokemon. So the only Galar Pokemon we're actually going to start this playthrough with is fuck. Ooh, almost burp. Is fucking Nick it. Unbelievable. That's unbelievably sad. Alright. Do we risk the Kingler? It'd be a fantastic encounter. But I don't know how this place scales. No. Absolutely not. Uh, actually, what we should do is we should make this fair and random so we can't pick it. We're going to pick a number, and that number of species we see is going to be our encounter. So if I say five, it'll be the fifth species that pops up into our view. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Mm, seven. The seventh species we see. 
Alright. One, Slowpoke. We're not counting Railroad because we can't get to it. Two, Kingler. Three, Abra. Four, Jigglypuff. Five, Guaneri. Six, Klefki. Is that Buneary? Yes. Alright. So the next species. Rockruff! Alright, I'll take it. Please don't be OP. Nice. That's a fantastic encounter. I'm more than happy with a rock rough. Level 15. Jesus Christ. If we didn't have fucking Grookey, I'd be terrified. It's not dying to one hit. Might as well raise a thing. Oof. Can I even hit the damn thing? This is troubling. Please don't kill it. That did a lot, actually. Alright, give it one branch poke and then we're putting it in the ball. And we're using the great ball because I don't want to die. Oof! Alright, thank you. Alright, we're using the great ball. I need to cast this rock rush. We might leave the token for the... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Rock rough it is. Great ball, go! Please catch this thing. Please don't kill my Gurky. Oh my god, we're in trouble. It just leered my Gurky. Mm. Yeah. Alright, well, that was my only Great Ball. I guess throw the Pokeball now. I can't put it to sleep or anything, so. What? Am I not allowed to catch this? Because it shouldn't just be popping right out. Especially if a Great Ball. Hmm. Curious. It won't even rock. Okay. Damn. What the hell? Oh no. Something's going on here. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to count this one, boys, because this is way too high level. Also, because we already caught the Pokemon that was the token, so I don't think I'm going to count these as deaths. But I will forgo the Pokemon if we can't catch it. Because that's, that's only fair. I don't like the way I just burst out of that Great Ball. Something's fishy here. I feel like, hmm, are the rates higher than they ought to be? Come on. Thank you. Okay. So we caught the Rock Ruff, but I am going to revive Grookey because this technically was a Pokemon that was already caught. Rocket Stage was added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon intimidates opponents by striking the ground with rocks on its neck. The moment an opponent senses it attacks. Alright, it's a female. So obviously, there's only one name to name a female Rock Rockruff. And that's Roxanne. Alright, so. That's one. Jesus Christ. Alright, we are going to use our singular revive to revive Grookey. Just because I, we came near unprepared, not knowing how the mechanics would work. It was very high level. And I don't know what was going on with that fucking catch rate. So we are going to give ourselves this one Hail Mary. I will never again, in the course of this lock, revive a Pokemon. Only because this was our first track in the Isle of Armor. And I didn't know how it worked scale-wise. I think it's fair to give us one Mulligan. And now we have a Pokemon that we can catch Pokemon here with. So I think it's reasonable that if this Pokemon dies, it dies. So let's save our progress, check out our Rock Ruff, and we will get our next encounter before I end in this episode because we have been running far, far too long. All right. Ooh. Plus attack minus defense. What is that, Brave? Lonely. Okay. Whoa, this has a mark? Oh my god, this has a mark. That's what the issue was. This was so fucking rare. I don't think I've ever naturally caught a Pokemon with a mark before in my life. A dust mark. Oh, you know what? I think it's because it's a... Uh... No, 
It's just Roxanne the Dozy. It does get a title. I'm going to apply that. Now when we send it up, it'll be Roxanne the Dozy. That's awesome. I thought it meant it was going to evolve into Dusk form Lycanroc because it is technically Dusk. Alright, I know that that thing's going to kill us. So, let's say the third species. Going forward. Klefki 1. Chansey 2. What is that? That's 3, whatever it is. What the hell are you? Oh, it's a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff 3. Level 13. Okay, so this is manageable, definitely. Um, I don't know why. Because it's the balloon Pokemon, my first thought is always very fine, but it's just normal for me. Perfect, that worked out. Alright, um, hopefully another Raptor won't kill you. Might though. Did not, alright. It has nothing to spit up. Okay, cool. Pokeballs! Hopefully it actually has stockpile so we can use those moves. Actually, hopefully it doesn't. It has like a fairy move or something useful. And there it is, we got a Jigglypuff. I'll take it. I actually don't mind Wigglytuff at all. Alright, I had to do it once. By freely changing the wavelength of its voice, Jigglypuff sings a mysterious melody to make sure any listener sleepy. Alright, so we're gonna name you. I know you're female, but it doesn't matter. Your name is now Lil P. Congratulations. Lil Peep has been added to the party. Alright, now with that, I didn't actually check to see when we threw that out if it said Roxanne the Dozy, or if that just means that it's going to be a Dusk from a Mike and It does! Okay, Roxanne the Dozy. Very cool. Alright, well, we got our Pokemon. Let's head on back. We're not going to do the Isle of Armor story just yet, because as we've seen, we're going to get crushed, and as this is a Nuzlocke, I ain't finna die. Um, let's grab this free item up here first, though. What? Uh, I said I knew how to use the camera. Clearly, I'm a liar. Sunstone. Cool. If we ever need that, I don't think we will. Oh, I love Leaf. Uh -huh. I'm going to go away. That's really cool. I'm really impressed that I found a Pokemon with a mark. I've never found that in my life. Oof. Run away. We scared. Thank you. I suppose we would not run a Veneer. God, that whale lord is massive. Just looking around the distance, being a whale and such. Oh, a comfy would have been cool. Yeah, let's get some Watts while we're here. Sweet. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get back to the train station and we're going to call this an episode. I had a great time. I am pretty happy with our encounters. Sorry about the Grookey debacle. Promise that will never happen again. If it does, it's dead. But before we go, I do want to check out, see what Lil Peep's rocking out here. Ooh, a big HP stat, I'll tell you that. Nice neutral nature. Oh my god, it's competitive. That's amazing. Um, it does not have... Oh, it does have an attack move. It's got Covet. I'll take it. As long as it has an offensive move. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Uh, I want you to have a beautiful day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. It's been a pleasure to join you, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good night. Bye.